Good afternoon, my name is Drew Freeman with NXP Semiconductors, and I would like to welcome you to the NXP Connects the Car booth here at CES 2013. Now, if you will follow me, I would like to show you some of the great new technology that we're offering here that will enable the connected car of tomorrow with technology that's already available today. Now, NXP is the number one supplier in the world for chips that enable the connectivity of the electronics within the car, the in-vehicle networking. We're number one in the world for the car keys and car access products. So what we're showing here this week is some of our car entertainment products, such as our Class D audio amplifiers that allow very high quality audio performance at significantly lower power consumptions than you have available with your traditional Class AB audio amplifiers. We're also showing entry-level car radio platforms based on AM-FM uh, technology for aftermarket or for emerging markets in the uh, car OEMs, up through mid-level and high-end car radio platforms based on DSP technology in our RF CMOS process technology that allows us to start integrating the DSPs together with the tuner functionality into single chip platforms. So for digital broadcast reception, NXP has a very unique solution based on our software-defined radio platform. And what that means is we have the ability to define which digital broadcast standard you're receiving through software rather than having a unique and dedicated hardware solution for each standard. There are many digital broadcast standards in the world, and they're all different. Which means if you do that purely in hardware, you have to have a different solution for each standard. But with the NXP solution, you can have one hardware platform and use software to define which radio standard you're receiving. So for example, what we're showing here is a radio platform that is currently set up to receive live HD radio, which is broadcast here terrestrially in the United States, but it's a digital broadcast standard. And that's actually playing right now. And that's coming through this antenna here. Now, I can switch, for example, to a DAB, which is very much like the um, TDMB in Korea. And when I do that, it's downloading the firmware as we speak, for, and it's going to enable now this chip to decode the DAB, which of course is not live because DAB doesn't broadcast in the United States. But and then you have that playing uh, in the in in there as well. The next thing I would like to show you is our car-to-car -car and car -to infrastructure communication platform. Now I showed you a few minutes ago our software-defined radio platform. Our car-to-car -car and car -to infrastructure communication platform is based on the same hardware concept. So I showed you how you can actually use software to define which digitally broadcast reception you're receiving. You can do the same thing with DSRC or Wi-Fi, 802.11p in this case which is the automotive version of Wi-Fi. And what we're demonstrating here is how if you have multiple cars all with this Wi-Fi capability, they can communicate with each other and they know what's going on. So for example, this car here, if he hits his brakes, you see the brake lights come on, but if you have a car between you and the first car, you don't see that happening until maybe it's too late but your car knows about it. So the car tells you that the cars ahead are braking. And it's through a Wi-Fi connection between the two cars that enables that information to reach this car. And this is really a, a good safety critical use of this technology and it will save lives. You can do the same thing at blind intersection. So two cars approaching each other will be aware of each other and can give each other a warning. The same thing, emergency vehicles can broadcast over the Wi-Fi channel and your car will then know that there's an uh, emergency vehicle coming. But not only that, the emergency vehicle can change the traffic lights so that you, coming from a different direction, get a red light so that the emergency vehicle has a green light and has easy flow through the traffic. 
and at the same time you are aware of what's going on with the traffic light so you will get information that tells you how many seconds you have left before the next green light and when you get the green light it gives you a traffic advisory on how fast you can drive so that you get to the next traffic light while it's green so this technology allows much smoother traffic flow much safer driving because it helps you avoid accidents and this is something that will be on the road a few years from now but the technology is there today and this is what we're demonstrating in road trials around the world and we're demonstrating this in the United States we're demonstrating this in Europe we're demonstrating this in Australia in actual cars in road trials around the world and we're doing this together with our partner Coda Wireless and for the infrastructure side we're working very closely with Cisco who's also a partner in this enterprise.